Next up, we got Conor McGregor, the champ champ. All right, now y'all been loving these UFC videos. So if you want more UFC videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right, now we just read to the Habib. Uh, we read to the John Jones. So now we got Conor McGregor. All right, if y'all can comment down what other players you want me to react to. Y'all been saying, um, what's his name? Oliveria. I forgot how to say his name. But I've seen his face on UFC though. I've seen his face on UFC uh, four, so I do remember. I do remember seeing him. Um, so I, I guess the, I think his name is Charles, Charles Oliveira, something like that. Um, so I got him next for sure. But for right now, you're Conor McGregor. Now I heard Conor McGregor is really like the most famous UFC person ever, ever. Um. So yeah. Huh? All right. So hey, let's see what it be, Tom. Bye. He hails from Dublin, Ireland. Here is notorious Conor McGregor. Okay. The sport of MMA has introduced us to many great warriors. But none quite like the notorious Conor McGregor. Damn. Damn. Chill. Quite like the notorious. Bro, bro, don't even know where he at no more. Bro literally got stunned. Notorious. Conor McGregor. Oh, oh! If you want to look at a man who has clawed his way, fought with every ounce of his being to get to where he is. You're looking at him right here. All right. Ah. Born in Dublin, Ireland, in 1988. Growing up where I'm from, there's two things you you were known for. You were either good at playing football, or you could fight. He trained at the local boxing club winning the amateur Dublin boxing crown. But then I met a guy who was doing jiu-jitsu. Uh, Tom Egan, his name was. Tom Egan, John Kavanagh, and Connor. When the three of those people collided, I knew it was going to be success. John showed us a different approach to combat sport, a different way of thinking. The life of this an MMA it. fighter is not a glamorous one. Fighting in front of small crowds for little pay, in hopes of someday breaking into the mainstream. I told them by the time I'm 25 years of age, I will be a self-made millionaire through this game. And my father laughed in my face at that, at that time. For most, the career is short-lived and often doesn't end on the fighter's terms. Yeah, because the Irish thing is to get into a trade straight away. I was no different. As soon as uh, I finished school, I was always getting pestered. What are you doing with your life? Are you doing this, doing that? I mean, we're going yeah. to be a plumber, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, I've heard you were working 12 hour days, yeah. like driving two yeah. hours one way. Yeah. And... yeah, yeah, you know. I was on them building sites cold and damp, and I was like, it, that, that was not me. <laughs> Damn! Chose to commit to a future in fighting. One that his parents scoffed at. You know what's the worst thing gotta be when your parents doubt doubt you, bro? That gotta be like the worst thing. Or not even gotta be parents, like close friends or just other family members in general. Like just getting doubted, bro. That and, and, that, and even though how messed up it sounds, it actually drives you even more to complete your goal. You know what I'm saying? Because when people doubt you and stuff like that, only if you're strong-minded. Some people who get doubted, they be they fall into the doubt. If you're getting doubted, people are doubting you, saying all this negative stuff, bro. Do not fall into that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Find find what makes you happy, and chase that. All right, chase that. Chase it. Make a goal for yourself. Set some goals. Set some goals for your future. And chase them. Don't worry about what nobody got to say or nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's definitely hard, bro. Because like I said, he got he, his own family, his own parents was saying, I don't, you don't, you can't do this. You're not going to be a self-made millionaire. No. What are, you, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But he persevered. Persevered. From the start, Connor flashed the personality that would endear him to millions of fans around the world. As far as my family were concerned, as far as my mother and father were concerned, I left what was a, a safety net of a trade as a plumber to pursue a, a career in fighting. If 
far as they were concerned, I was just getting into a cage and fighting with some other guy. They didn't know nothing about it. No one did, really. But I knew. You know what I mean? I knew. I just saw the other day, I think you were the recognized, the most fifth most recognized athlete on earth. They must have miscounted. I'd say I'm number one in athletes. <laughs> <laughs> <Actually. laughs> Now, one thing I did hear about Conor McGregor, he's definitely very cocky. We seen that in the Habib video. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all let me know I should react to um, like a Habib uh, McGregor full um, like beef series. Because I guess it was like some other stuff that was going on too. So, if y'all want that video, let me know in the comment section. But he's very cocky. He lacked in skill and experience. He made up for in tenacity and ferociousness. Nice. That was straight instinct right Mixed there. Mixed martial arts is basically the purest form of unarmed combat known to man. It involves all, all disciplines, all uh, combat disciplines, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, taekwondo, karate, jujitsu. Um, it's just a pure combat. Connor would face off against unbeaten top 10 European fighter Joseph Duffy. They were both quick. I was learning my craft, figuring it out. Again, Connor's lack of experience showed. That was a very sharp shot, but it looked Ooh. like he could have got fast submission. I lost in 20 seconds to a knee bar, and I lost in 29 seconds to a head and arm. He tapped him. Damn. That was a That's very, good. very fast submission there. He landed some good shots, split the eye of Joseph Duffy, but then got caught in a submission. You learn yeah. your craft as you go. You face the feet like a cha a champion. When he faces the feet, he puts his head down and grinds. He dedicates his entire life. That's what champions do. What got me to where I am is an insane work ethic. A lot of people think they can do what I do until it's time to do what I do. Connor, with yeah. the feet to heart, and uh, people like that are is, is always. Uh, people in a comic session, you know what I'm saying, especially doing like social media and stuff like that. You gotta deal with comments, you gotta deal with people always in your business, blah blah blah. I always got something to say, you know what I'm saying. Oh, it's so easy, oh, it's so easy. Whatever you're doing is so easy, it's always easy, but it's like, why aren't you doing it? If it's so easy, why are you not doing it? If it's so easy, why are you not doing it, man? Like, I remember somebody said, Oh, reaction videos is so easy. Like, bro, it's a million reaction channels on the internet. A million. A million videos being posted on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody sits, like, bro, you go, it's so easy. Go, You go sit down and try to be entertaining for, with this video, 40 minutes. You go try to do it. Go do it, do it, go do it, do it yourself. If it's so easy, it's, so, it's such a money, it, you make so much money, it's so easy. You know what I'm saying? Just People be thinking just because you make it look easy, that it's easy. But they don't see the behind the scenes. They don't see all the other shit. They just see the finished product. And they be like, oh, that's easy. I can do that. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? Until it's time to do what I do. Connor would take the lessons of defeat to heart and continue to remove any holes from his game. God damn. What the you... fuck? Oh, this nigga got some motherfucking strength. And continue nigga. to remove any oh, holes shit. from his game. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, you know how much upper strip that is? Or straight abs? Oh my god. I have never even seen somebody do this before, bro. He's doing it casually, just a casual workout, like. If I could describe it Damn. to people, it's like entering a car crash. You're going into a car crash, the shins are bare, the feet are bare. You can strike with the elbows, the knees. It's a vicious, vicious game. He would not lose another fight for nine years. Whoa, what? Eight or nine. He would not lose another fight for, for nine, nine years? years. That's crazy. Oh! 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 That, oh my God, that uppercut. Oh my, oh my God. Conor McGregor. This is, bro, we're still on young Conor McGregor right now, bro. He haven't got a beard yet. Like, where the fuck they even playing at? A pool? Just like, just like one of them pool tails. You know how the pool tails be like red? This is exactly how I look, bro. Where the hell? I've never seen an octagon look like this, yo. It's kind of sweet, though. I ain't gonna lie. Damn! Two hits of the gavel, and that was it. It was over. Wow. 
Connor's got ferocious power. His style was tactical aggression, <laughs> a relentless, crowd-pleasing assault of unconventional kicks and precision targeting. For your winner by TKO victory from Dublin, Ireland, Lewis Connor McGregor. That's my 10th MMA win. A of those. Our first round TKOs and KOs. All my wins are by knockout. Give me the belt. Give me the belt. For the CWFC Featherweight Championship of the World. From Dublin, Ireland, here's Notorious Connor McGregor. Do you think you've really earned the shot at a, at a bona fide world title? And he answered back, yes. How many people do I need to knock out? The main thing to succeed in this game is to either be me or fight me. Everything yeah. else is peanuts. <laughs> listen, listen to one song. Listen. Three listen, rounds listen. for the featherweight strap. Connor talking crazy Conor too. McGregor in the grey. Dave Hill in the white. Well, McGregor is going to be so fired up here. I think you could probably hit him with a truck. Stay on the fucking three-point stance. One of the things I'm ooh, blessed with, ooh. I have many shots in my arsenal, I have many moves, I can box, I can kick. Uh. I have many different weapons in my in my in my arsenal. A lovely jumping switch knee from Conor McGregor. The variation started to come. Oh Damn. moving to the back. This is gonna be his first ever submission victory. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's all over. Notorious okay. Conor McGregor is victorious here in Cage Warriors. He wins the featherweight oh, belt. God. I have hey. never seen anything like that. Some extreme scenes here in Dublin as we are showered with celebration. What can I say? Wow. This is the first person I this is the first person I've ever seen jump in the crowd. I've never seen somebody do this before. Usually they'd be like on top of the fence or just like, you know, in the thing, just running around happy, doing backflips. He ran into the crowd. Like, bro, what an instant gratification. No cap. Yeah, that's funny. Showered with celebrations. Wow. A fantastic he performance. He is now the first Irish born fighter in MMA history to win a world title in his hometown of Dublin, Ireland. The new. Nice dodge. Oh, bro, got the dodge it for sure. I like it. Wow. He is completely out of it. What a Damn. 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 Oh, we all see that again. Yo, you see his head? Look, bro. Look at this. Yeah, we got to we got to slow this bitch down. Hold on, we got to slow it down. We got to slow it down. Yo, look at how his head turned. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, 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 he felt that. He felt that for sure. He felt that for sure. Oh. Wow. Machine is completely out of it. What a what spectacular a knockout. What a performance. Against a very seasoned opponent. He would win Cage Warrior titles at both lightweight and featherweight. The first European to ever do it. As obviously you feel you on and you have said that your goal is <coughs> to get into the bigger yeah. the bigger organization. Do you yeah. think the call is Yeah, I'd hope so. I'd hope so, yeah. Next fight will be I don't know, we'll see what happens, you know what I mean? Just keep positive and again keep believing, keep training. Eventually you put in the performances, you put in the work, you put in the hours and the UFC brass. You know what's funny is I didn't even know he was Irish. I didn't even know it. But now I can hear it. He got definitely. I I don't. I never heard him talk. To be honest, never heard him talk. 
literally the first time. <laughs> That's crazy. He's literally Irish, but I thought he was from here, USA. Eventually, you put in the performances, you put in the work, you put in the hours, and the UFC brass take note, and then and then you get the call up to the big show. The success and personality of McGregor caught the eye of UFC president Dana White. Oh yeah, Dana, I know about Dana. UFC is the premier organization, it's number one. There is no other organization where you can make a sustainable living. Connor was tapped by the UFC to fight Marcus Brimage. His Ooh, dream okay. was coming true. It was one of the rare occasions that I felt a little bit nervous, you know, it's his first time. I remember like holding the banner over and he walked over to me to ask for a little sip of water. He took a sip of water, handed it back and said, I feel no different. It's just another day at the gym. Marcus Brimage, Conor McGregor, and here we go. Oh. Out of Conor's 12 win, 11 are not going to uppercut there, Kenny. Oh, okay. Yeah, he definitely had the uppercuts for sure. Oh, I know about that kid. Okay, wait, so I got a question. So kicks like that, do that hurt? Like, bro, I remember I, I asked in the first video, um, I forgot who was watching, John Jones. And I was saying, like, does leg kicks hurt? Like, how does it feel when you actually kick somebody? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking, like, when you kick, like, this dude just kicked him in the, in the head with his toes. His toe, look, his toes is at his bottom of his chin. You cannot tell me you kick somebody with your toes and it don't hurt. You can't tell me it don't. But are you, are you, is it like you're risking your body to hurt him? Is that what it is? Like you, you, you might feel a little hurt, but he going to feel it for sure though. Is that how it is? I think that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's literally his toes is, like he, if he do it wrong, he can literally break his toes. I like the kicks though. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 He just ate them bitches, though. Why he just eat them like that? He had, like, bro, four hooks right to the face. He comboed his ass. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Intruder destroyed. The knockout would net McGregor a $60,000 bonus. Just last week I was collecting the social welfare, you know what I mean? I, I had to... Conor McGregor's energy and personality are as gripping as some of his mixed martial art holes. The Dublin native's popularity exploded in this country last year with his MMA feats, and that has led him to being the most searched sports personality on Google in Ireland throughout 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Conor's just so relaxed in there, man. It's amazing. This is the second UFC fight, very high profile, and look how calm he is in there. His style was tactical aggression. Oh, yeah. A relentless, crowd-pleasing assault mm. oh, of yeah. unconventional mm. kicks mm. and precision targeting. He throws him in their windup. Oh. He's throwing these kicks. He's, there's no switch. There's no step. Look at this wild stuff. Oh, oh my God. Switch kick. With a dominant performance here tonight. Oh, that's Tony Ferguson. I didn't even peep. That's Tony Ferguson. Okay, I heard about Tony. I'm using Tony on. Uh, I think Tony Ferguson and and Conor McGregor. I think that's the like the the normal matchup. I think that's like the the most famous matchup. I think so. Like usually every time I use Conor McGregor on UFC four, if y'all didn't know, um, I only know about UFC because of UFC four. Like I play the game only. Um, I never watched this. I never actually watched it. This is my first time watching like all this. Um, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I usually see these two go against each other a lot. At first, though, I couldn't even tell who this was. But I seen how his head shaped. His head, Tony Ferguson got that weird ass head shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then I know. I'm like, oh shit, that's Tony Ferguson. Okay. Switch, there's no step. Wait, is it Tony Ferguson or is, or is it, uh. Look at this wild stuff. Wait, is it Tony Ferguson or Max Holloway? Am I true? I think it's Max Holloway. I'm sure. Wrong person. Yeah, Max Holloway. Max Holloway. There you go. Max Holloway. Jumping, switch kick. 
with a dominant performance here tonight in Boston against Max Holloway. Yeah. I almost sound stupid, bro. I almost sound dumb. Decision, the notorious I don't think anybody realized it would be such a big event. We did an eight-page pullout that week. Imagine doing that for MMA. It's sort of <laughs> the star Spangled Connor. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. What happened last year, the year before? Well, just like any sport, personality makes stars, and Conor McGregor certainly has plenty of star power. It wasn't long before the UFC put Conor on pay-per-view. So yeah, so y'all explain to me, what does pay-per-view mean? What is that? I always hear about that. Do you think it's going to take you long? Um, I, I, I don't see him getting out of the first round, to be honest. Okay. There he is, he's a... Uh... He's not the best looking guy, I'm not, you know what I mean, but I, I wanted a, a better looking opponent, but it, it is what it is. Oh, that hurt. Oh, yeah, he hurt. He felt that. He felt that. He felt that. He felt that. <laughs> I like that. I Let's like that. the truth. I, I, I've spoken about Dustin's weird, weirdly shaped head. He has a, sh a P-shaped head. It, His bold trash talk Yo! <laughs> made him stand out among a crowd of exceptional athletes. That's not gonna be good. You know, you know, you know. He remind me. He remind me of Johnny Cage. If y'all ever played Mortal Kombat, y'all know Johnny Cage is the flashiest person of all time, the cockiest person of all time. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the funniest of all time. <laughs> he literally buys it, bro. Crack him with a jab, and uh, he's gonna wobble. And Proud of the trash talk. Athletes. That's not gonna be good. You know, I'm gonna crack him with a jab, and uh, he's gonna wobble, and I'm gonna put him away early. It's gonna be a first round KO. Mark my words. His ability to back Damn. up that trash talk with results would make him. Oh, they got Dana White out there. Icon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you can't you can't say nothing. Like the like the way I feel about trash talk, like I love I love trash talk, me personally. You know what I'm saying? I will trash talk you all day, especially online. Um I'm not when I say online, I'm not a keyboard warrior. That's not what I mean. Like if we're in a call of duty lobby or I'm like, you know what I'm saying, um any type of like video game, you know what I'm trying to you know what I'm saying? Like any type of video game where it's like I can talk to you, like two K I can talk to you, voice chat, I'm gonna talk stuff. Cause that makes the game more fun. Rather just be sitting here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm on trash talk, so now you got your feelings in it. And if y'all if y'all really want no secret, if somebody bearing you and you and, and they and they have like a clear chance at winning, and you know they can win, trash talk, bro. If you trash talk and you get under their skin, then they gonna start doing dumb stuff because they don't want to win even harder, and they gonna start. You know what I'm saying? They out of day. They're not thinking. They're not thinking properly no more. You got their feelings. I'm trying to tell y'all. It happens all the time, especially if I'm playing my friends like in real life. Oh my god, it's the perfect thing. It's the perfect thing, bro. Because I'd be like right in their ear. Oh my god, and they always mess up. I always win. Perfect time. I love trash talking. No cap. I love it. I love it. It is. It's personal and it's business. It's a. It's a grudge match. I don't like Ladies this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Halloween division. I, mean, I thought he wasn't getting in my head, and he might have been. You know, looking back at it now, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to hurt him. I was aggravated and, and mad all the time. You know. See? No, don't get See? me wrong. I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly from the back ass of nowhere. You know, I've nothing against the guy. You know what I mean? I'm sure he grew up in, in, a, in, a, in a circus or a fair. Or, you know, he's a nice little kid. He, his cousin's probably named Cletus or something. I don't. He's a nice kid. A lot of times, I would find myself. <laughs> 
like being angry at him or thinking about him. You're not. I'm not fighting. See right. exactly what I just, I literally just said it. I'm thinking about him. I'm not fighting. You're not in your element. You're not focused. You're more thinking about how I can win. What's the easiest way for me? What's the like? I don't know. It's it's hard harder to explain. It's kind of like what's the what's the cheapest way I can win or what's the easiest way I can win. You're not you're not in your element where you focused on you know what your what your uh, goal is and what you gotta do to get to that goal. No matter what game it is or what fighting style or whatever. Now you're just trying to just because they got you in your head, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Been is. On each other's nerves for weeks. Damn. He's seconds in. Right in front. He's talking to him. Oh, yeah. Hands in his hips. He clipped him right behind the ear. Damn. 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 Oh. Ref, stop it. Ref, stop it. Ref, stop the match. Stop the match. Yes. The real deal, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. Conor is for real. An entire country is standing on their feet right now. And he really did just make it look easy. He said he would make it look easy. He made it look easy. That's the real deal. He said first round. It's a fine line between charisma and obnoxious boasting. One McGregor seemed to walk effortlessly. He has an indescribable quality that makes him the biggest draw in the sport. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was cute. Conor McGregor! Dennis Seaver. See how calm Seaver is through the whole thing. Absolutely. It's one of the reasons that Ready. makes him... Oh. Seaver is getting busted up. Conor McGregor is making mm. a very strong argument that he is as special as he says he is. Oh, 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 oh. As he says he is. Hit him with that knee? Did that knee land? Did, it, did that hit that land? Bro, that heart, did that, that was nice. Oh my, oh, 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 oh. Hit that body, hit that body. This nigga face, bro, he turned into a fucking apple out there. Oh my god, bro. Oh yeah. Bro, it turns into a tomato. Yeah, yeah, stop the match, bro, stop the match. He's dead. He's about to kill him. See, the only thing I would say about um the cockiness is like, you know, when you get cocky and stuff like that, like, it's more, when you, if you lose, like, it, like say the other person was just, like, on some chill stuff, and they, like, not trying to really talk, talk crazy to you and stuff like that, um, then when you, on the other end, been talking so much stuff, you didn't say, try, you didn't try to say everything to get under the skin and everything, but the other person stayed calm, and then you out there taunting like he did, he taunting and, you know, doing all that, and you lose. That looks terrible. So that's the only thing with taunting, like, we're talking shit. It's like, it's a risk. Because if you lose, you're going to look like a fool. Bars. It's bars. Was McGregor tore over the top of the cage, went right down into the front row, got right in Aldo's face. Aldo looked at him and smiled. Aldo's enjoying this. This is awesome. His resting heartbeat never changed at all. Oh, he's got a beautiful smile on his wow. face. He knows he's going to make a lot of money with that kid. Yeah, and I have, I, like, I go home now. I'm, I'm eager to get home to my island as well. Your island? You mean Ireland? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. You can't walk down the street now anywhere in Ireland without being known. So, of course, very disappointing to hear of uh, Jose's injury the pound for pound number one everyone wanted to see that fight a lot of drive behind with it with five ufc victories connor was next in line to battle jose aldo okay aldo i heard him but aldo was injured in the lead up to the fight when i look at connor i see dollar signs in my bank account you know connor i match up horrible for this guy and connor connor do you know what wrestling is I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a good Connor was pitted against Chad Mendez. A world 
class grappler for the interim world title. Zero impact, but where I come from, we're not supposed to climb to these heights. We're told that it's instilled in us. Uh, and I wanted to break that mold and, and, and pave the way, open up paths. Now, now my nation's flag is on the UFC belt. They released a new belt. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. The questions remain. Could Connor's flashy and dynamic striking style hold up against a wrestler of Mendez caliber? Already. Mendez oh, tested yep. Connor early. Ooh, okay. Taking Ooh. him down multiple times in the first round and opening a cut over the Irishman's eye. Hmm. Ah, damn, damn. Hey, hey. Oh shit! Oh, that last that's nothing I heard. Yeah, so Conor McGregor has the strongest chin of all time, of all time. So yeah. His hands really low. Body shot. McGregor not Ooh. only persevered, Ooh. he retaliated. That body. Better protect that body, boy. Oh damn. Mendez had taken his best shot on the ground, but McGregor escaped. If you're in the game, make sure you're in it all the way, all in with it, and then that game will be your game. Boom, perfect timing. Yeah, Michael Tyson. Mm. I'm only young, Tony, you know, I'm still learning, learning the game. Yeah. And I don't claim to know it all. Ooh. What I do know, I know it damn well, you know, and I'm continuing to learn and continuing to push on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, damn! Damn! Hey, that's like the sweetest shit, bro. When somebody hit you so hard that your face literally turned the... <laughs> That's the best shit ever, bro. That's the best shit ever. Oh my god. Bro, hit, bro, whole body turn that way. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. He's out. He's out of here. That was a good fight, though. Let's be honest. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Gold belt is what I want. The two gold belts. I was a two weight world champion in the previous organization. Now I'm on the big stage at the UFC. I want that featherweight belt and I want that lightweight yeah, belt. There's no doubt that this is the biggest Aldo. matchup ever. So now I heard about I heard about Jose Aldo. Um or I've seen him on a game. Now on a game he's like the he has like the fastest kicks ever. He's kinda short. He has like super duper fast kicks. So I wonder if it's the same on in real life. History. The dream fight against Aldo was finally on. Oh! Anybody ever really disrespected Aldo? Because Damn. Aldo was the man for so long. Aldo hadn't been beaten in over a decade. Oh shit! Real? It would be the largest event in UFC history. I thought I thought Aldo was gonna win back then. We didn't, Did know, you know? we didn't know much about Connor. I feel like at that point, you know. Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Junior. He didn't even look at him. He didn't look at him in the eyes. Okay. All right. Most of he focused. 
And jo Jose Aldo is the perfect example. Aldo was so out of composure. Uh, Aldo charged at him. Damn. Damn. Oh, they both hit each other. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Was that the first five seconds of the game? Oh my god, bro. Bro died reaching. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. UFC featherweight champion of the world. Oh, unbelievable. Oh my god. Unbelievable. The first punch he threw. The the, that was the first was five seconds. Win for Connor. Damn. He is now unquestionably the face of the UFC. I change wow. your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. You you when you, you sign to fight me, it's I a heard celebration. You ring back home. You ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, what baby. What I can say about Connor is it's made him wealthy very quickly. It's made him talked about more than maybe any other fighter in the UFC right now. You know, um, I don't have a problem with Connor. Even though I didn't do much talking, I tried my Matthews. I tried to have my actions do my talking for me in the octagon. But when you listen to the guy, he's actually pretty smart. You're a star among stars now, Connor. For the first time in his career. Connor would move up two weight classes to 170 in order to face off with Nate Diaz. Connor McGregor uh, was scheduled to fight lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos March 5th in Vegas until Dos Anjos withdrew from the bout. You know, I've been. So I feel like that's the best thing, bro. They have literally the, by weight classes, bro. So if you just get a little bigger, you can play another weight class. You're not just like, um, what's the word? Um, what's the word? I just had it. I just lost it. Like, you're not just stuck to only one weight class. You only play the people in that weight class, and that's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I like how it's literally, you could do, you basically, if you drop weight, you can play with people in that same weight. You go up in weight, you, play with, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. It's, it's, it's flexibility. I love the flexibility about it. That's the one thing I love about UFC. He's sure. the drum all week about, I, I don't like him fighting at 170. You know, he'll probably come in at 167. Connor weighed 169. That's what he weighed when he weighed in. That's what he weighed during the fight. And they, they want him to fight at 55. He goes, no, 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 I can be at seven. Let me do seven. Nate weighed probably around 190. Nate Diaz! Connor McGregor! So he about 30 pounds uh, heavier. What he's been able to do in such a short period of time has been nothing short of magnificent. Whether Connor's knockout power would transfer to the higher weight division was the question. Connor the aggressor here early. Connor came out in round one the way he always did. He dominated Diaz Damn. and bloodied Diaz. One in the books. Oh, damn. Hit Nate with some of his best shots, and Nate he was fine with it. He heard him. He heard with that left. Connor was already fatigued. Oh, he oh. Oh. He oh, oh, shit. Oh. oh. That landed on McGregor's chin. Nate Diaz trying to finish with a submission. He got it. Couldn't do it. He oh. Was battered and submitted McGregor. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, yeah, he got it. Damn. That was a good fight for sure. I got to lie. See, the one thing about Nate Diaz is he got that length on him. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like using him online, too. Hey, I be using that length. You can, stay, you can stand back just a little bit. Just enough where they can't hit you, but you can hit them. Perfect. It's literally perfect. Any tall person, bro. Any If you tall... And you can't fight, that's a problem, bro. Learn how to fight. Because you have reach advantage, bro. Major reach advantage. But, you know, it's a good fight, though. Because Connor came out. He did what he had to do. Look at, look at, look at the Diaz face. He, he damn near don't know how he won. 
He damn near don't know. I don't know how he alive. What the hell? How are you alive, my guy? You know what I'm saying? It's a good fight, bro. Good fight. Bro, like he poured ketchup on his face. Beat him up on the ground and choke him. I was like, Ooh. It was the first loss of his UFC career and ended his 15 fight win streak. Dang. Emotions after a loss like that. You know, it stings, it stings real bad, but this is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and then uh, come back. Hey, everybody. Hey, bro. One of the things I always heard, um, it was a song by Big Sean, one of my favorite artists. You win some and lose some. No cap. You win some and lose some, bro. All right? Bro, then went already. He already had like what? He got like five belts already. 15 old win streak. Talking shit to everybody. It's going to come point in time. You're going to meet your match. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's literally how it is. It's just like with any other sport. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can win. Anybody can win. Are they fighting again? And it's headlined by the rematch between the notorious Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. Revenge, revenge, redemption, retribution. He knows it. He knows it. Pain is the prediction. The guy steps in, he loses to Diaz, right? Takes the Diaz fight on short notice. Oh, by the way, after a staph infection. Here's something a lot of people don't even know. He had a pretty significant staph infection. was on antibiotics until like, I think, two weeks before the fight. Mm -hmm. If you don't think that drains your gas tank, you never had a staph infection and you never had to take antibiotics. Nothing external what is staph infection? Can, can, can defeat the internal. Well, the only yes. thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Connor's training methods are anything but traditional. Work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. Just that he was obsessive about it. He was going to do nothing else all day, every day, other than train. Movement and balance are key components in the Irishman's regiment. <laughs> Yo, this dude, yo, Joseph Vincent, bro, this dude is the GOAT, I ain't gonna lie. These memes be perfect, bro. These memes be perfect. Bro walked in the door, and he said this nigga doing the full splits. <laughs> Movement and balance are key components in the Irishman's regiment. That hurts me just looking at it. Despite many doubting Connor would win at the 170 welterweight level, Connor insisted on a rematch. McGregor! Diaz! Transcending weight classes is not something that other UFC fighters are even willing to try, let alone succeed at. Here we go! I'm going for that leg. Brutal leg kicks he's landing on me. Ooh! Connor Ooh, started with mixing them up. Relentless leg kicks. Okay, yeah, he said he's trying to mix you up. Mm. Damn, 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 damn. He was also much more controlled, clearly preserving his energy for later rounds. Ooh. Uh, I'll fight Nate at 70. I'll, I'll 45 shoot mm. off Merck, Aldo in 13 seconds. Mmm. See, I don't know how he does it, bro. It's like when he, it's like when he does, like. Uh, I'll fight Nate at seventy. I'll, I'll it's like he waits for them to punch. Then he like, it's always like this. It's literally always like this. He like he waits for them to punch. Then he like almost grabs their arm and then comes and punches like 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 that. Every time it always works. Cause I guess after you put, throw a punch, you like leaned in almost. So now you're. You, your guard is down because you just try to throw all your power with this punch. 45, sure, I'm Especially if you do it fast, too. 13 seconds. One nothing, McGregor. Damn. Very different than the first round of their first fight. Did not blow himself out. And I'll come to 55. Like, we've never Bro, seen this activity. Damn. Oh, tag left. 
Damn. Dude. If he couldn't knock out Diaz, he would outskill him. And oh my God. Connor looks perfect thus far. Connor was breathing very heavy in between rounds, and we're moving in to round number three. Much more calculated in this fight, Joe, and still breathing heavy. Yep. Even the best laid plans often go afoul. Connor is fading radically here. Nate is sensing Connor McGregor getting tired, and he's starting to put pressure on Connor. Defending in this kind of clinch battle is brutal and draining. This much anticipation for a fight. It's absolutely wonderful when the fight is like the one we're watching right now, Joe. Ooh, that was nice. Okay. A little quick. Ooh. 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 Damn, round five. Hey, hey, Nate be, hey, hey, that's, don't, don't sleep on Nate. Nate be eating them bitches too. Nate be eating them bitches too, bro. I don't know how he doing this, but bro, right, he getting hit all on his cheek, top of his head, eye, everywhere, bro. And he's still standing. Hey. How is he still standing, bro? He's still standing? Like, bro, how the hell do you even... I, I would, I literally wouldn't even want to fight these dudes in the street, bro. If, if it's no way I hit so many calculated good punches on you. <laughs> and you, you come out looking like this and still standing, bro. I'd be so mad. Like, bro, just go down. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even peep. They got their Twitter handles on here. That's sweet. I like that. Dang. For the winner by majority decision, the notorious Conor <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Damn. Take a look around you. You got a lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Nobody. Right here. They're not who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? Next, McGregor would drop back down to 155 to battle for the lightweight championship of the world against Eddie Alvarez. Guys, it took an awful long time for the UFC to touch down in New York, and it comes down to Madison Square Garden, three title fights on the line, and Conor McGregor tonight, that's something nobody else has done, hold two title belts at the same time. Here we go! Well, it looked like Eddie, the moment he got hit, was like, what the... You could see on his face, Ooh. he was like, holy... Damn! Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that one. Hold on. It looked like Eddie the moment oh, no. he hit was like, what the? You could see on his face, he was like, holy. Oh, Can he finish it right here, right now? McGregor did not disappoint the New York fans. He dictated the action against Alvarez, smashing him repeatedly with precision shots from his left hand. And then the accuracy of that combo that finally finished Eddie. That's what I think makes Connor so special is his accuracy when he throws punches. Mm.
by winning two belts. He was now known as the Champ Champ. <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs. The Mayweather's. One, two, three. At the Damn! Connor capitalized by taking part in the most profitable fight in history. Wait, wait, wait. Three years ago? Do I remember this? I do. Oh, it's 2020. I do remember this. This is a good video to make. In 2020, this is a great video to make. Okay. Great marketing. So, I do remember this. I remember seeing, um, I, I don't, like I said, I, I don't watch UFC, but I remember this meme. Like, around 2020, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in their house. I'm talking, what was it? February? Yeah. Everybody in their house and stuff like that. Um, and I remember this, this meme going around, bro. They, they were looking each other in the face. I'm like, oh, J oh, J Tree. I remember that for sure. At the height of his superstardom, Connor capitalized by taking part in the most profitable fight in history. Pay-per-view sales will likely be the largest ever. Mayweather, the overwhelming favorite, is eyeing a two to three hundred million dollar payday. Earning over one hundred million dollars for the fight, Connor would try his hand at boxing. So no leg kicks. Floyd Money Mayweather. The fight drew a ton mask. of interest, as both Connor and Floyd were masters of the pre-fight hype game. Yeah. We're talking about a billion dollar fight. We're talking about a billion dollar fight. Uh, Conor McGregor. So the biggest, that. the biggest boxing fight I think in history just happened what a week ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh, but in reality, Damn. it was in fact more spectacle and less of an actual contest. There was no real chance for a UFC fighter to outbox one of the greatest boxers ever. Just as there was no chance Floyd could enter the octagon versus any professional UFC fighter and survive the first minute. Damn. In the end, both men made out like bandits. He, I went in on his terms. I fought him under his rules. Um, originally, the promise was, I'll fight him his game. He fights me my game. Yeah. Mm, I haven't heard of him since. I haven't heard of him. <laughs> yeah, With of more money than from. any UFC fighter could ever hope to earn, Connor was now in a state of limbo. Why fight in the octagon again? Why risk the injury with little to gain? His life is so chaotic. He's always filled with so many distractions. See, we've seen this in the though. Habib video. Yeah. I mean, he might, he literally might wind up, wind up in jail. It's entirely possible that New York's going to prosecute him. All right. All right. He threw a dolly at a car. People yeah. got their eyes cut and face cut. Just like Joe Rogan. I just want to say I'm thankful to the DA and the judge for allowing me to move forward. The fame and constant media presence began to affect McGregor. Thank you for the support. Thank you. His antics increasingly ramped up, resulting in legal troubles. After a very bitter and ugly back and forth with Khabib, the fight was set. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash your boy. It was the highest purchase pay-per-view UFC fight ever. As the fans flocked to see if Connor could return from his absence and recapture the title he vacated. However, Khabib was a new beast. Undefeated. No signs of a weakness in his game. Damn. Damn.
Connor was unable to stay on his feet, and on the ground, Khabib was in a class of his own. The defeat was made worse by the post-fight altercation, where Khabib jumped into the crowd and attacked Connor's trainer. Damn! That's what happened. Khabib jumps the fence. No, 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 and he's going right at Dylan Dennis. What the hell? Oh no! That right hand, the wayward right hand from a teammate inside the octagon after losing a mixed martial arts fight. Oh my god! No, that was disgusting. It was two things disgusting. Khabib jumping out of the octagon and attacking Dylan Dennis was foolish. But, but Khabib's friends jumping into the octagon and attacking Connor, who had no idea that they were there, just jumped on him. It was completely cowardly. With the loss, the legend of Connor seemed to be coming to a close. Many thought he'd never enter the octagon again. As his life spiraled from what one the hell? step after another, his the presence and the consciousness of the sport didn't fade. Connor would return. I don't say oh. naysayers because I'm not a Conor McGregor naysayer. I had, a, I had Conor McGregor questions going into this fight. 31, Cowboy 36. is a legend. He is a as tough as they come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. You're talking about a guy who has the most fights in the UFC, the most finishes in the UFC, the most head kick knockouts in the UFC. Connor stormed out and implemented the rarely used tactic of shoulder striking. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is rare. The hell? Never seen that before. What the fuck? Slammed his shoulder over and over in the Cowboys' face. And then Connor countered with a head kick. The rest was just a formality. Damn. 40 second knockout by Connor McGregor over Donald Cerrone. And then Connor hits him with pistons. He hit so him. hard. He broke his orbital bone. Yeah. As a number of potential next matchups present themselves, one thing is for sure. Connor is still the biggest draw in the sport, and as long as he is fighting, he is the undisputed king of the UFC. Wait, so he didn't retire? I thought he retired his whole time. Wow. All right, about an hour in the video. To see who watching this far, number one, you are watching this far. I love you. All right, I love you so much. Thanks for watching. All right, now to see who really watching, we'll play a little game. The game is for you to comment a word. All right, the word of the day. It's cocky. C-O-C-K-Y. All right, that's the word of the day. Nobody brings it home like Joe. It's nobody. Nobody. Hey.